Hey everybody, welcome to my video on uh, alternative wiring for an Esquire using an import switch. Uh, so this is my guitar that I've been working on. I finished it last night actually. It's a 2014, uh, it's a Squire Standard Tele black and chrome edition. And um, I, you know, I really like, it's got the black body, it's got the black headstock. It originally came with a mirrored uh, uh, kind of chrome uh, pick guard and it had a neck pickup. So I took the pick guard off, took the pickup out, and then set about trying to Esquire this thing. Um, now, a little bit about the Esquire. Uh, the Esquire was first invented in 1950 by Leo Fender. It was their first solid body electric guitar offering. And uh, they had kind of shopped around some prototypes and stuff like that and um, found that there was definitely a demand, especially among the kind of country and, and to a point jazz players that they kind of knew out in Southern California. Um, and uh, so they decided to try and market their, their, their own solid body electric. And it was, really, it was really the first mass produced solid body electric guitar. There had been others like uh, Paul Bigsby designed one for Merle Travis. That's kind of a famous, uh, you know, prototype. But, you know, Paul would spend months working on these guitars and every one was a custom guitar for the person that he was making it for. And, and it was a very labor intensive process. Uh, so Leo really was able to revolutionize the assembly line process, you know, uh, used in manufacturing at that point and apply that to musical instruments. So the, um, so the Esquire has kind of an interesting uh, setup. The way that it works is when the pickup switch, you know, because normally you'd think, well, if it's got one pickup, what does it need a switch for? Uh, that was kind of an ingenious uh, thing that they did um, with that. So the pickup in the first position uh, is basically, it's as if the tone, it, the, there's a cap inside that I'll show you that bypasses the tone so that uh, the tone is basically off. Or, or it's all the way to zero. So you can still control your volume, but the, 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 um, your tone is, 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 is gone, basically. It's, it's more bassy. The trebles are really, really cut. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so it's good for kind of, you know, muted kind of jazz playing if you're, if you're into that kind of a thing. Uh, the second position in the middle, the tone and volume have full control. So you can set that to whatever you want play that. And then the third position, uh, the tone is all the way to 10. Uh, and some uh, people who do mods and things like that will even put uh, extra capacitors and different tone caps and things like that inside so that they get a, a, a wider range of tone that this is almost like kicking it into overdrive. So what I did is called, it's, it's kind of a modified version of what's called the Eldred mod. And that is named for Mike Eldred, who currently runs the Fender Custom Shop. And he came up with kind of an alternative idea uh, to, uh, to modding uh, this, this Esquire wiring. So as you can see, this is an import switch. This comes on kind of all the base, uh, you know, tellies that are coming from Indonesia and China and stuff like that. Um, it's a little bit different from this switch which is called a blade switch. I got this, uh, this particular switch on, uh, on Guitar Fetish as well. And um, the, the problem that I encountered when I was doing these mods is that most of the wiring diagrams that exist on the internet are made for this type of switch, not this type of switch. Um, and, you know, and I get that like these import switches are pretty cheap and, uh, and, and mass produced, and so there may be, uh, they're not the preferred switch. But I wanted to do this with the switch that came with the guitar, because I, I, uh, I just wanted to sort of see if I could do this with the parts that I had on hand. Um, so the biggest challenge with doing this was translating the, the node positions from this st style to this style. Because obviously, as you can see, it's really, let's see if we can focus here. There we go. Um, as you can see, it's there. There, it's all eight in a line. Now, some import switches will come with uh, seven nodes, and some come with eight. Mine obviously comes with eight. Um, so the way that this works is on these types of blade switches. 
um, you've got four rows or two, sorry, two rows of four nodes. So this one is called A1. This is A2, A3, and A0. And then on the other side, you have B0, B1, B2, and B3. Now the way that that translates to this, the import switch, is you've got A1, A2, A3, and A0. Then you've got B0, B1, B2, and B3. So here's what I did. Um, let's see if I can stop my hand from shaking. Uh, here's what I did with my kit. So we've got, um, I, I had a little uh, point zero, uh, 0 0.047 um, uh, tone cap. Um, I had that on hand already. So I was trying to see if I could do this without having to uh, like order more uh, parts just because I'm I get kind of impatient sometimes and I just want to work with the parts that I have. So <clears throat> what I ended up doing is this yellow wire is the hot wire. It's the lead from the uh, from the bridge pickup. And then so that is wired then to a zero. And then from a zero, you run another wire down here to the volume pot and I used the, uh, the, the, the so this one is grounded um, this one is the it goes to the uh, the input jack and then this one is wired to the switch so then a two I've got another wire going all the way here to the uh, the tone pot and I just left the capacitor that came with the telly on that tone pot. And then from A2, uh, a written, the way that wiring diagrams are drawn, the capacitor is supposed to wire in directly to A2. But there, I, I didn't want to force this cap to reach that far. And so what I ended up doing as you can see, just because I didn't want the wire, I didn't want the metal parts of the wire to kind of, uh, you know, touch anything else and mess up the signal and all that stuff. So what I ended up doing is just soldered a little piece of green wire on here and then made a little joint right there. And then uh, that goes to the tone cap, which is then soldered to the top of the volume pot. And then, uh, and then of course your, your black wire is uh, the ground from the, um, uh, ground from the bridge pickup um, and then there's another black wire here that is the ground from the bridge itself so that is my kind of uh, it's an alternative alternative wiring um, and uh, yeah I got it all wired up last night tried it out it sounds great um, it's it's really uh, fun to to you know have kind of an uh, another range of sounds to kind of play around with so um so check it out try it out let me know if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below and uh, i'll do my best to get back to you and 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 all that i'm also going to link uh, i'm going to draw up the wiring diagram uh, so that folks can find it when i was doing a google search uh, for uh, a wiring diagram that fit my needs i found a lot because uh, of course the Google you know image search returns a lot of stuff, but it's not always the right stuff. So there would be you know somebody would do a drawing and then uh, but then it turns out it would be linked to like a forum discussion saying, you know, am I doing this right? How does this look? And and all of that stuff. So it's not necessarily definitive information. But uh, I will draw up the diagram that I have here because uh, like I said, this works. And then you can use that uh, to do your own um, your own mods, specifically with an import switch. So uh, thanks for uh, watching and listening, and happy guitar playing.